There's a lot to love about a classic Thanksgiving meal. The turkey, of course, the stuffing, the potatoes, the sides, the empty bottle of wine that's going to force you back inside with your family. But in case you're not able to go home for the holidays, or you just hate home-cooked food and prefer the industrial comfort of a frozen TV dinner, why not enjoy a pizza this Thanksgiving? This here is a beautiful picture of the brand new DiGiorno Thanksgiving pizza. Crafted by DiGiorno's self-described culinary masterminds, they say it crams all of your Thanksgiving favorites into a single bite. Classic turkey, creamy gravy sauce, diced sweet potatoes, colorful green beans, colorful cranberries, rich mozzarella and cheddar cheeses, a crispy onion topping, and in what must be a nod to the pilgrims landing at Plymouth Rock in Massachusetts, it's all laid out on a Detroit-style crust. Okay, great. So how do you get one of these things? Run down to Walgreens? Or just hope that you're living in one of the few cities in Ohio and Colorado, trying out DiGiorno's fully cooked pizza vending machine? Nope. Even though Thanksgiving is a day in which we bring people together to share a fall harvest with loved ones, the availability of this pie is severely restricted. As noted by our friendly press release, DiGiorno is releasing a limited number of Thanksgiving pizzas exclusively online, but only on Wednesdays between November 1st and November 22nd. Based on the Gregorian calendar, researchers and data scientists here at the News Refresh calculate that is a total of four Wednesdays. Now each pie costs $11.23. Not in honor of NBA greats Bob McAdoo and Michael Jordan, but because Thanksgiving Day is 11.23 in the United States and its minor outlying islands. They're serious about this limited availability too. As of press time, the first drop is already sold out, though they urge you and yours to check back for more on November 8, 15, and 22. But whether or not you score a slice of this delectable Pilgrim Italian fusion, you could always sink your hard-earned money into this investment piece known as the DiGiorno holiday sweater. It's 55 bucks, it lights up, and look at that, it's sold out too. You know what though? That's actually fine, because when it comes to a traditional Thanksgiving, we really shouldn't be spending our time eating pizza or turkey. Our friends at the University of Texas at Austin's Biodiversity Center notes that according to historians, the very first Thanksgiving dinners consisted of not just turkey as the entree, but eel. They say the American eel was a significant source of fatty protein to early American colonialists. And in a book about eels called The Book of Eels, its author claims that a Native American known as Squanto, who had been enslaved, escaped to England, and then returned home to find his entire tribe had been wiped out by an English-born pandemic, once gifted struggling settlers with an armful of eels, which the settlers considered to be a gift from God. Not only did Squanto teach these settlers how to catch these fat, slippery things, he also helped them cultivate crops, taught them how and where to hunt, and even helped negotiate a peace agreement between the natives and the Europeans who were very interested in stealing their land. But in spite of the American Eel's prominent place on the dinner table in the early days before our nation was born, I'm sorry to report it's never quite been a Thanksgiving staple, like pumpkin pie or watching the Detroit Lions embarrass themselves on national television and streaming. However, even though you're likely not enjoying stuffing with eel this year, when it comes to eel stuffing, this actually gives me an excuse to share a news story from 13 years ago that I will never forget. It was published by The Sun in the UK in 2010 under the headline, Chef Dies After Feeling Eel. It sounds vaguely humorous until you read the thing. A chef has died after an eel was put up his bum. The 50 centimeter long Asian swamp eel was allegedly inserted into the unmanned name's bottom after he passed out drunk by pals playing a prank on him. I myself have never worked in the restaurant industry, and even though I know that some friends of mine do get the occasional shift drink, until this, I'd never heard of an after-hours round of Hide the Eel. Anyway, it goes on to state that medics say the eel had devoured his bowels. Happy Thanksgiving!